We wish to thank the sponsors of Raymar of the Jungle, Beechnut Gum, sponsor of the Dick Clark Show, and the sponsors of Country Music Jubilee for relinquishing their time this evening in order that we might bring you the National Handball Championships from Aurora, Illinois. See these fine shows next week at their regularly scheduled times. From the world's first all-glass handball court in the new Aurora YMCA comes the world's championship handball finals under the combined auspices of the YMCA, the AAU, and the United States Handball Association. Presented by Community Builders, 4101 Dempster Street in Skokie. And now, here is Bob Kendler, president of Community Builders and the United States Handball Association. Ender ball, the ball came up too high and took a bad hop off the back wall. You'll notice both boys are playing rather carefully at first and feeling each other out. And uh, that's a ceiling shot, a very effective shot. And you will notice as they play that Johnny Sloan, the young fella, will be trying to get, there's a beautiful kill shot, and gives Vic Hershkowitz the first point in this World Championship match. Vic, who's a one-wall player, as I said, and a three-wall player, that's a hinder. The ball hit him on the way up. They'll see if there's any water on it and go on when it's dry. But Vic Hershkowitz will be trying to make the play up toward the front of the court. All one-wall and three-wall players try to keep the game up toward the front, where their kill shots are most effective. Johnny Sloan will be playing ceiling shots and around-the-wall shots. There he hit him again, and that's a hard ball to hit you. He'll have two little brown, black, and blue places on his legs for those. Johnny Sloan will be trying to keep the ball up and back. See how he brings it up now? And once more, a ceiling shot, which didn't reach. So Vic Hershkowitz has it three to nothing in this World Championship match. You'll notice, ladies and gentlemen, and sports fans, these boys have mastered the ability. There's a ball that came up over the back wall and will be played again. They play either right or left-handed equally well. Short ball. The ball must go past that second red line closest to the back wall to be in play on the serve. Two serves. Well, Vic has four points. Johnny's playing a little, a little tight yet. As we go along, point out some of the things. There was a beautiful hop shot. Mr. Hershkowitz, Dick Hershkowitz, put a hop on that ball by twisting it just as he hit, twisting his hand. The ball can hop in either direction. Watch the ball hop. There's a backhanded, left-handed shot which shows his skill as a single player, single wall player. And a beautiful back wall shot, left-handed. Wasn't that something, Bob? Back again. So far, the old master is the master, Bob. Well, he still shows his wonderful.
Notice the deception on that serve. Now oh, he cuts that ball off and drives in a fly kill with the finest that there is in handball. Now he'll take the back wall shot. And Vic is playing like an oiled machine tonight. I've never seen him play any better. Johnny uh, plays a little, he's a little nervous. Well, I don't know that he's nervous. I think that he is. Uh, is that a point? That's an ace. Overpowered right now. That was an ace and uh, gives Vic nine points. Nine to nothing. That's a <laughs> All right, let's get on with the game now. 15, 15, six. Vic Hershkowitz is leading in this first game of a two out of three match for the world's championship in handball being played in the new all glass court at the Aurora YMCA. 16 points, and the game, of course, is 21. First one to reach, 21. And the ball goes out of the court, bouncing too high for the back wall. for the past few years has been playing with a bandaged right elbow. What's that do to Bob? Well, it's just like a pitcher to get the sore arm from too much pitching, too much hardball of pitching. Uh, I think we've developed a sore elbow. Uh, but recently he's found a way of helping himself with some uh, shots that he takes and that bandage. And he's, he's right is just as strong as ever. You notice that last shot? Beautiful slider right down the wall that they couldn't get. And there is a long back wall shot. Look at that. And he takes it nice and easy into the left-hand corner around the front wall. 16 to 6. There's a soft lob shot. Ceiling shot. He kills it and then hops at the same time. Well, that's the new style in uh, handball. Put a hook on it in the bowling as well as in the serve. Now we get into the lob game. Here's the skill, experience. Savvy. As they play that soft game, each of them watching for an opportunity. And the amazing thing about that is that little Johnny plays with such experience and knowledge at his age. Usually the old timers kill the kids by their by their experience and wisdom in playing this game. Johnny plays it like a real old timer. He's only 22 years of age. See that hop? He waited for it and then took it. Oh, the ball came right up here to our handball. Uh, right up here to our uh, TV camera. <coughs> well, this is the only game where they throw the ball back in. I, in baseball, the gallery keeps the ball and the football as well. That's right. 16 plays 7. 16. Oh, what a get that was. That was one of the best shots of the game so far. Hard kill from the right-hand corner and very low. 
with a hop on it and he still retrieves it. are a little nervous about some popping of flash bulbs around here because um, the cameramen are all interested in getting their pictures of this of this game. There's a hinder. In fact, I think Life Magazine is covering this, isn't it? Brian? All of these uh, flash bulbs are life photographers. Uh, life did a very big story on handball in 1951, and this is a sequel to that story art. Well, it's a happy ending to sure. exciting beginning and a dream because this is the first all-glass court in the history of the game which has been played since the 10th century in our life. A thousand years old, Art, and here for the first time, uh, the spectator can enjoy it as much as the player. Yes, the Irish started this game with a rock-hard ball here and great big courts. It must have been twice as big as this. They were 30 by 60 yards, and it was slate, and they played with a hard leather ball. They didn't snap the ball like we do today. They stroked the ball. Uh, this is really called the soft ball game, uh, and theirs was a hard ball game. Hard ball game. Uh, actually, they're basically the same game, but it's now uh, brought back down to a modern uh, court and a modern play. You see that left-hand kill shot from the shoulder? That's the. That's, the, that's, that's his specialty. That, that's where Dick has uh, learned that shot. From is hinder uh, ball. That's where he has learned that technique from a single wall court. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who've never seen a single wall court, obviously there's no side walls, there's no back wall. Any ball that goes by a man never comes back as it does in this four wall game. So he has many techniques which he's developed to hit that ball from every angle in the air and kill it and not let it go by him. On the other hand, Johnny Sloan, the youngster who's playing him, wants to keep him in the backcourt. Johnny wants to make his kills from the backcourt quite often, although he's naturally very good in any part of the court, being an all-around champion. Out game. He'll carry the trademark of this game for four days. Or more. Oh, yeah. A hard shot, maybe a week. A little round black and blue mark. Shot. Adam and back up right down the wall. 18 to 7. Oh, what a back ball shot that was. That's supposed to be the weak part of his game. <laughs> well, that doesn't look that way, does it? No, there's no weak part to either one of these boys. They play everything strong. And there's game for Dick Hershkowitz, the first game of a two out of three match. Bob, that's sensational. 